Hey everybody, Canadian Shisha here uh, with a hookah review. Um, I will be showing you guys kind of the layout of the, the hookah, how it uh, comes apart and everything like that. But uh, as you guys can see, it is a small, uh, it's only 12 inches or one foot um, size hookah. This is the KM Buri Beast, as you guys can see there. Uh, it's got It's all solid brass the whole way through. Um, it's a beautiful pipe. Um, it does fit other bowls, which is nice. Um, so uh, it comes with this hose as well. Um, I got this from Five Star Hookah. Uh, I'd really like to give a special shout out to Alex and Mary for sending me this. Um, I was having a really difficult time over the last couple of weeks, and uh, yeah, I really appreciated their um, their generosity. So thank you guys so much. Um, anyways, guys, um, I will uh, leave you now, and we'll get into kind of the breakdown of the actual pipe. And then we'll come back and I will uh, show you guys how it smokes. All right, guys, uh, let me get into the play-by-play -play kind of uh, the how it works, how it's put together, uh, and what it comes with part portion of the review. Um, so like I said, this is the KM uh, Beast Buri uh, from 5starhookah.com. It is only 12 inches uh, high uh, or like a standard foot. Um, it's oxidized with the... Um, the kind of gold um, brass, it's solid brass, this thing is super heavy and uh, it comes with a hose there, I'll kind of show you a little bit more in depth right now. Um, so the bowl that it comes with is just a mini Egyptian, uh, it's very standard as you guys can see right there, um, glazed, everything like that uh, and it, it works quite well, this one actually was a little bit deeper so I've never had a mini Egyptian. Um, with the other bowls, though, I've used a Pico bowl and a 7 Eco bowl on this. Um, all of my bowls fit for this. Vortex, Standard Egyptian, everything uh, does still work for this um, for this hookah, regardless of its size. Um, the other thing that comes with it is this cool cam hose. Um, it does have the rainbow thread kind of down the, uh, the lining there. Um, this is solid wood. It's painted uh, black and gold to match the, uh, the hookah itself. And it's got a metal uh, mouth tip that actually fits very comfortably. Um, you can't use glass tips or remove this in any way. It, it is uh, standard. But you can use any hose you want on this hookah, so it's not that bad. The, um, the port part is actually solid wood as well. I like the wood uh, ports. Uh, they're actually quite nice. The only thing is, is if, uh, you, you know, they can crack after a while and, and get destroyed. But it's uh, not a washable hose anyway, so it, you know, won't last forever. Um, but let me get into the pipe part, guys. This is um, kind of the important part of the review anyways. As you guys can see there, beautiful job on the decorations, the uh, kind of carving into the brass and the oxidization. It looks great on this. Um, so uh, first off, um, you know, you got your standard uh, bowl port up top. In order to remove the ashtray, this top part actually twists off. Um, so you can take it off like that and uh, it's got a little rubber grommet on there and this part actually fully removes. Um, I'm not going to remove it but it does does remove so you can uh, take the ashtray off if you want. Uh, the nice thing about the, uh, the screw on um, bowl port is there's zero rattle in the tray. That thing is on there solid 100%. Um, and uh, as you guys can see, uh, the stem here, it's not solid. This does twist off as well. And uh, it does have a nice copper down stem as well. Um, so that is uh, the great thing about this pipe for sure is uh, the solid brass and the copper down stem. Uh, it's great uh, workmanship for sure. And uh, yeah, they do a very, very great job, uh, you know, crafting this pipe for sure. Um, so uh, let me get into the uh, little part here for you. Uh, the little vase or, or whatever you want to call it, the base, uh, it does have this great... Um, solid brass as you guys can see there on the bottom stand um, so it's very solid when you're smoking it um, as well as a dome purge valve which I like the dome purge valves work great I'll show you during the smoking part uh, how well it purges um, it's insane and uh, yeah so your standard dome purge valve for here um, which I'll just throw back on there real quick as well as um, your standard uh, hose port. Nothing special. It doesn't have that big beast one on there, on there like most of the beasts. Um, but it does have a good-sized 
uh, hose port so that you guys can use any hose you want. Um, and yeah, little grommet just fits right in there. Now, this being the entire um, base here, it's you know probably about four inches in diameter. Um, I was using this. I don't think there's water in it, but I don't pour it on my computer. Um, this does use a very, very small amount of water. I mean, when you hold it up there, that is pretty much, you know, the, the stem, the um, copper down stem is so far near the bottom that you really only need such a small amount of water in order to fill this base. Um, I know whoever buys this will um, their first time put way too much water in it. I guarantee it. I did it. Um, you just kind of have to gauge it. Um, and test it out before you start smoking so that you don't end up with a mouthful of water. Um, but once you get the, the water portion down, there's no problem with um, sucking in water. I haven't had a problem with that at all. Um, so yeah, guys, that's kind of the in-depth um, view there of the uh, KM uh, Bo uh, Beast Buri Hookah, um, the 12-inch, the smallest KM on the market. And uh, like I said, guys, this is solid brass. Uh, it is beautifully made and it, it's a great collection to any pipe especially just the look of it this thing is so beautiful that uh, you can just set this on the middle of a coffee table and uh, you'll get a lot of great compliments so um, I'll go back into the smoking portion of the review guys um, again thanks Alex and Mary and uh, I'll see you guys later all right, guys, uh, welcome back. So you guys saw the layout of the, the pipe and uh, kind of all the, uh, the pieces and, and how it comes apart and everything like that. Uh, so now I'll show you guys how it smokes. Um, right now I'm using my Pico Bowl. I've got a little bit of Haze Kazooza put in there right now. Um, unfortunately, I've got two quick lights on there because I lent out my coal burner, um, which is stupid of me, but I really wanted to get this review out there. Um, so uh, let me take a uh, pull here for you. As you guys can see, this thing is a, a beast, um, as per the name. Um, 12 inches, but it still smokes like any other cam hookah I've had. Um, the only tricky part is uh, figuring out the water level. Um, because it's solid brass and you can't see through, you can't always tell how much water you're putting in it. So um, it's a very, very small amount of water, actually, that you actually um, use to put in this pipe. But once you've got the, the water level down, this thing smokes absolutely amazing. Um, it's uh, it's great because it's a, it's still a, a KM, so you're still getting that great quality from it as well. And it being solid brass, this is not only a great pipe to smoke, but it's a great looking pipe, and uh, you can centerpiece it pretty much anywhere you want. Um, the purge on this, um, I will uh, I will show you here. Um, it's the dome purge valve, as you guys can see right here. Um, so I'll I'll take a hit here, and then I will uh, show you the purge. All right, so now I'll purge it. As you guys can see, it only takes a couple of seconds to fully purge it. Um, I wouldn't blow on this as hard as you would to purge a normal hookah, but uh, it purges 100% really quickly, really easy, just a nice short blast of air, and you fully purged your pipe. Um, anyways, guys, I absolutely love this pipe. I would say if you've got the extra cash laying around and you just want a little pipe that you can... Uh, carry around and, and not have to worry about. Um, this is such a beautiful piece and uh, it, it uh, smokes ridiculously well, um, especially for the size. Uh, it's beautiful. I'll take a couple more hits here for you guys. Like I said, guys, beautiful, beautiful cloud output. Anyways, guys, I'm going to definitely give this a 10 out of 10. This thing is amazing. I love the size. I love I can carry it around. And it smokes just like any other KM that I have. Um, and I've got the Berea. I've got the Case KM, or the KM Case Alalum, sorry. The Trimetal, the double, double Black Pearl. And this thing smokes just as good as the rest of them. So it's a 10 out of 10 for the KM Beast Buri. 
Uh, you can pick this up at fivestarhookah.com. Um, they've got it uh, under the KM section, obviously. So uh, do yourself a favor, guys, and pick this pipe up when you guys get a, a chance, when you guys got a little extra cash flow. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Anyways, guys, uh, sorry I was off the air for so long. Um, like I said, I was dealing with some stuff here, but uh, I appreciate everyone's support that uh, messaged me and, and have been supporting me through this. Again, a very, very special thank you to Alex and Mary at Five Star Hookah. Your generosity absolutely blew me away and did put a smile on my face um, through the hard time. So thank you guys so much. Anyways, guys, Canadian Shisha, I'll check you guys later. Uh, join the Hookah Cartel, shop at fivestarhookah.com, and uh, keep an eye open for the Naha Hookah Reviews. Anyways, guys, peace.